Guess what I'm mad about? I'm mad that a yellow tile came off. Woo! Oh yay! Woo! Yes, I'm a cube noob. So well, this is the hardest and possibly the most annoying step in the Mega Minx. Uh, still, you only need to know the algorithms from the 3x3 last layer, except you'll need to know a little tiny way to change them in order to make it work for the Mega Minx instead of the Rubik's Cube. Uh, so, since this is the yellow side, I have a yellow sticker here. That is supposed to be yellow. Uh, but I lost the tile there, so I had to put a yellow sticker on. So this is yellow. So, on the last layer, once you've done everything else on the Mega Minx, your last layer, you'll either have one flipped, you'll have three adjacent ones flipped with all yellow on top, or you'll have two adjacent one and one opposite them. This one is equivalent of the dot in the Rubik's Cube. The three of them is equivalent to the L, the small L, and the two adjacent and the one across is equivalent to the line. So since I have one, I want to position it on the left side, like this. And then you want to do the normal algorithm, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F. And now, you have the little L. You want to put that in the top left and do that algorithm again. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Now you have the line. Leave it horizontal, and make sure that the two adjacent ones are on the right side. On the left side, sorry. Make sure the two adjacent ones are on the left side. Now, do an F. And the F is this side, and the R is this side. Don't worry about these back layers for now. You want to do an F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And now you'll have all of the edges facing up. So now you'll have all yellow. And now, like the... Uh, on the Rubik's Cube 3x3, you want to match up only one, and then do a certain algorithm. But on this case, you want to do two. You want to match up two edges. So in this case, I have the pink matched up, and the orange. And that is just fine. Sometimes you'll have two right next to each other matched up. Sometimes you'll have these two, these two, whatever. So in this case, when they're like this, one is right in front of you, and then you skip one, and it's the next one. You want to do an R, U2, R prime. U, R, U2, R prime. And that will keep these two and do that again. But it's still not correct, so you want to do it again. R, U2, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. If you'll notice, I turned the top layer a total of five times rather than the normal four on the 3x3. Three three. And now all of the sides are matched up. But let me try to get it into. Uh, one of the cases where only two adjacent ones are matched. Here you go. This blue and this pink are matched up, but these three aren't. So what you want to do is hold one of them in the front and the other one on the left, and you want to make this the right side, the one, the first one on the right that's not solved, and you want to do an R, U, R prime, U, R, U, three, R prime. And that will leave these two solved, and then these last three. So now, since they're still not solved, you want to do it again. R, U, R prime, U, R, U3, R prime. And you can't just do a U prime 1, because that won't work. You have to do, you have to turn it clockwise three times. So now, that all of your edges are matched up properly, you want to look at the corners. In this case, I have this one is in the correct spot. So normally you'd put that in the back left. But if you look here, this one's also in the correct spot. So all I need to do is switch these three. So, instead of doing R, that, 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 to do it, you want to put these in the back, and you want to do R prime. You want to turn, Okay. Uh, you want to position the two that are solved, that are in the correct spot in the back left. And then you want to position the three that need to be turned in front. Then you want to turn R prime, but instead of front, you want to do this side. So you want to do this side and this side. So R prime, U, L, U prime. R, U, L prime, U prime. That is the normal algorithm for the 3x3. Three three. You just need to know how to use it on the Mega Minx. Now, since these three still aren't, you want to do it again. Uh, R prime, U, L, U prime. R, U, L prime, U prime. And now... All of the corners are in their correct spot, you just need to flip, turn the corners. 
Now sometimes you won't be so lucky, and five will be met, all five will be messed up, four will be, three will be, two will be. Sometimes these two will be in the correct spot, but these two aren't. Now uh, these three are not in the correct spot. So all you'll need to do is do the algorithm to get the one here in the correct spot, and then just flip these three. Uh, basically, just use the corner switching algorithm a few times until you figure out how to get them all in the correct spot. And now, like you would always do, you want to flip, turn the corners. So the easy method is to do R prime D prime R D. This is R and this is D. So I hold it sideways just to make it easier. And it's R prime D prime R D. R prime D prime R D. Now, as with the three by three, instead of turning the whole cube, the whole 12-sided dodecahedron in this case, you want to just turn the corner into that spot and do it again. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. Now, put the last corner, which is this one, in that spot, and do R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. Now turn the last layer, and now you have completely solved your Megaminx. If you have any questions or comments on this tutorial, please send me a message, post a comment, or video response, whatever, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.